Temperatures were below freezing for senior day here at Missouri Western as the Griffins recognized 16 seniors before hosting Lindenwood for their final regular season game. Both teams started out slow, with the score just 6-6 going into halftime, but then Western blew the game open. Anthony Williams recovered a fumble for the Griffins' first touchdown of the day, and later Donnell Hawkins would make the score 23-6 with just 8 minutes left to play. Lindenwood rallied back though, answering with a touchdown before having a successful onside kick to get the ball back and score yet again with just 36 seconds left in the game. As the game went on, I just I, I looked in everyone's eyes and, and I could see that, that we were ready to, <clears throat> we were ready to fight the whole the whole game, even even when they scored last in that last uh, minute. Uh, we knew it wasn't over and, we, and as you can see, you know, we, we kept battling so you can't ask for much more than that. The Griffs made it back down the field, and with one second on the clock, Marino completed this pass to Joe Horn Jr., who tossed it off to Mack. Mack was tackled at the three-yard line, ending the game. That was tough. That, one. that stings more than probably anyone I've ever been a part of, to be honest with you. You know, high opportunity to win and just didn't pull through. And Hats off to Lynn and Wood. I thought their defense played phenomenal against our offense. We did give them some first downs, you know, and got in some situations where we didn't play. Uh, uh, defenses the way we wanted to and then tackle some things where we wanted to, you know. And, um, you know, I think offensively we would have got a couple more first downs, the game would have been over. After the loss, everyone believed Missouri Western's season to be over, but on Sunday night, the team found out they made a bowl game. That's time and place has yet to be announced. They finished their regular season 6-5. and five. For Griffin Media, I'm Morgan Doyle.